So this is how we manage vSIM on the point. So go to the point dot ww dot com and then click on return user login okay so go to under my content so go to your vsim for med search click on it then once here go to vsim for nursing if you don't have classes yet uh, just click on my classes here you already have well, I already have my classes so to create one simply add new class uh, we should be in here uh, just type in Medgar Evers and two things pop up I've been using this one right here and these are the the ones with the asterisks are the only informations that are really required so you can create your class here and you are 275 or you can even add a semester fall 2020 uh, say group one and then that's all you need these these four um, are optional so if you create class it generates instructions but if you miss this page that's fine you can still access the individual instructions uh, later so if you hit continue so here is the class that I just created fall 2020 and you are 275 uh, right now there are no students now you can uh, click it so click view you can, here is where you can add co-instructors so here how to add students we'll get to that shortly if you click on co-instructors you just simply hit co add co-instructor and then add your um, instructors email address there right here and then send invite uh, just give them a heads up that the email usually goes to the spam or junk folder so once it sends there will be a um, notice here that the invitation has been sent and you'll be notified when they join so when they finally accept the invitation their name will now appear under active co-instructors as far as students because right now I have none Here's the instructions on how to add students. Click it. You just simply cut and paste this and then send it to the student. The access code that is referred to right here, this access code, will have to be added to the to the email because this is simply the code here is simply the the um, class code for this class. So if you look at here under fall 2020 this class this is the class code so they need the access code which we uh, purchase we send that to the individual student and these are now the instructions so if you if you send this if you copy and paste this to the student and give them the access code also in the same email so they um, they just go to this website put in the access code that you provide and then when prompted they will be asked to enroll into a class and this is the class code that they use and as far as managing the students so I'll go back to my classes say here I already have students enrolled so I can Let's see if I have some activity here okay so you can go either by patient right here you have you can look up the students progress meaning the entire class progress that's enrolled in this class all the students you'd say under Lloyd Bennett so here it tells you only so far only Belen has completed the the whole scenario um, uh, at least once they, they can repeat this multiple times and it will only log in the 
the last attempt that they did I don't think there's a way to see how many attempts they've done but it will reflect the the latest um, attempt that they submitted so to see details because this is a summary only so you if you want to see what they have because here it tells you that there's one uh, low risk there's uh, there's also uh, moderate and then there's high risk if you want to see details on on these results you can click on there and then here's the detailed feedback log so you can see um, what they did wrong so here's a low risk here um, let's see if there are any moderate oh, okay none so there are no serious issues with the student it's just a minor um, error here but um, the score is pretty good 91% uh, score so this is only a PDF file so you can close that we go back here and here are also details on the score the post test that um, the student did and so yeah so far only stu one student has done this but you can do it that way or you could also go by student so i can click on Berlin so she's she's been busy so she has done not only Bennett but she's done Bronson Hoffman and Brody as well so she's she's been busy let's look at the others if they've also been staying okay none I guess none for Robert And none for the other so it looks like Berlin has was the only one that's been staying busy um, what else uh, that's pretty much it how to add a class uh, how to create a class and how to manage existing classes how to add instructors and how to um, add students to the class as well but uh, students have to self-enroll though you can't manually add them